now, so uh, almost two weeks. It's been, it's been an adventure. Yeah, it's been an adventure. Could you recount your ordeal at the police force today? I would do that when I have rested, I find my family and uh, my loved ones. When I've been in the studio, I think I need to see more experience first. Yeah, I don't right. know what that Interesting. Could you tell the audience what exactly is your picture about the police? Uh, like I said, I'll give all the details because I, I, for me right now I need to see my family first. Mm -hmm. first, 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 first my lawyer and my Thank you so much. So tell us, how do you feel regaining your freedom? Uh, I feel I feel good. I feel loved. I was surprised at the uh, turnout of the events and how people supported and showed love. I didn't expect this much, but thank you so much. That's all I can say. Surely I will be planting more and more, and more interviews very soon, soon and very soon. Thank you. Did so the police much. tell you not to go interview? Were there no, no restrictions? They didn't do that. I just I'm just out of there a minute ago. Rest. Plan for an actual interview. Yeah. So we can have a public for discussion. Good, thank you. The lawyer. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good. So, so, could you tell us? Don't look at the camera. Look at any other person here. Uh, could you tell us um, why was your client detained? And it's been a lot of battle getting him out of the police custody. Yeah, tell us what happened exactly, and where are we today? Well, uh, Your name is Fred. My name is Baba Tundi and I'm the legal representative to uh, Romasele, Peter Adeli. He was picked up or arrested uh, for having his public phone number on a flyer that uh, called for a peaceful protest. And that was what we learned from the police that for the reason he was arrested. And we thank God uh, that we came into the, the, the matter. Um, from Lagos to Abuja, the FCID, we was being detained for about, uh, about seven days, there about, before we was being brought back to Lagos. So, and uh, we thank God for the battle that we fought and we won. So, we to God. The police have, uh, although they came with a, a, a motion to detain him again for a 30 days, so, but uh, we thank God that we were able to oppose the application on Monday and uh, the court uh, ruled on it on Tuesday. So the court ruled in our favor. So the application that the police were detaining uh, for under prejudice was rejected by the court, by the magistrate court at Yaba. So, so getting, that, getting this bill today, were, were there frustration by the police? I mean, did everything go well as planned, yeah. would you say? As a matter of fact, um, with the bail conditions, having met them, the police were cooperating. They cooperated with us, and uh, quickly the verification they, they did that they didn't delay us. So it wasn't uh, there were there were no reports on the uh, the perfection process. So it was a very smooth one. So so, so yes. Yeah, so would, would you say the reason why it was detained in the first place was justified? I mean, well, uh, we were in this country together, and we noticed. But now, what what we qualify reasonable suspicion is what we don't know, because the gentleman was in his house. He was not. Uh, he has not come out to do any protest. He was right in his house when he was arrested. So you know, I don't know what they were. They, they, they could have suspected him to have done by that time. So I don't know what is the basis for arresting him. But we thank God when we knew the reason. So what was their reason exactly? What are the charges? Uh, on the on the charge uh, on their file and all that, we noticed that they they, they, they are accusing him of um, incitement, uh, stalking and uh, conduct likely to cause breach of peace and all. So you know they went through his Twitter pages and filtered a lot of his tweets and tried to leak it to the insightful so and we told them this is just that is that is freedom of speech he can express himself and he has not incited anyone so so that is it so and now that the matter is still on do you think um you will get justice and uh, are you going to sue for um human rights violations yeah 
Uh, well, uh, that is for us to decide, okay? Uh, at least today, this is also a justice. Even yesterday, I uh, mean on Tuesday, we got justice. For the, for the motion brought by the police to have been thrown out, it's a form of justice for us. So, and we are very grateful that we resort, we, we made the court, the court gave us hope. And we are, we are very, very happy about that. You know? At least it shows to the whole Nigeria that the court is still the, 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 the last hope of the common man, where the common man can get justice. So you know, we, we got justice in the court. So, and we still have to still get more justice by God's grace. Good. Thank you. I think Thank I you, think yeah. that's said as well.